my name is Lynn Willingham. I am getting a Career Achievement uh, Award tonight, and this is Brian Cranston. And I'm getting a free dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm always a good reason to be able to present Lynn with the Lifetime Achievement Award for editing. So, what does it mean for you? Lifetime Achievement Award is always about your whole career. At um, so, could you highlight something about your career? What was the the main memory? What you could just remember. I've been very, very uh, lucky to work on wonderful, wonderful shows. Um, probably, you know, from X Files to Breaking Bad, Your Honor, Ray Donovan. These are shows I'm kind of, you know, really fond of because I got to stick with them for quite a while and really learn the characters and really, uh, you know, get to know the people I was working with. Those were my favorite shows of, of all of them. So what does it mean for you this, uh, to just receive this award? It's quite an honor. I was shocked. Uh, you know, there's so many people that are deserving that it's hard to imagine that you should be singled out in one year for this. Um, you know, there have been wonderful honorees in the past, and I can't believe I'm, you know, I'm one of them now. It's, it's really remarkable, and I'm very honored. And usually when they're asking someone to honor the, and present the awards, it's, it's a good connection between the two persons on the stage. So uh, what is your connection? How do you know each other and uh, for how long? And please share something about it. Well, we first met uh, 23 years ago, I think it was something like that, on X-Files. Yeah. She, uh, she and we've worked together three times and she's just uh, a lovely human being, number one. And, and also an exceptional editor. And the X-Files was such a big hit all over the world, even in my country, in Hungary. So uh, how, do you rem how do you remember that time when he was shoot that show? Well, do you remember that time <laughs> oh when you God. shot that show? Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's sometimes uh, grueling. You know, that, that show worked a lot of hours. I mean, yeah. they, they worked many, many days and a lot of hours. Um, and it was all in the attempt to get it perfect, yeah. or as close to perfect as you can possibly do. And, um, you know, I remember being thrown on the ground and having gravel stuck to my face. And it's just, you know, part of, sometimes the roles you take are very physical and sometimes they're not. And this one was. And very quickly, what is your future plan after the Achievement Award, Life Achievement Award? <laughs> what do you do after a Lifetime Achievement Well, award? I honestly don't have any future plans. I technically just retired, but um, I will take passion projects. I'm going to be mentoring an AFI uh, film student. She's getting her master's, so that'll be really fun. I've never done that before. It kind of keeps my hand in and lets yeah. me lets me relax at the same time as being, you know, still creative. So that's about what I'm doing. You? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking forward to just sitting on a couch somewhere and, and just eating bonbons. Sounds good. That's all I want to do. In our sweats. Yes. In our sweats. In the sweats. Yeah. Perfect. Sounds nice. And enjoy the free dinner tonight. And congratulations. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. you. Nice. Hi, nice to meet you. I am Virag and I'm working for Bionic Bus tonight. And uh, so you are here tonight as an actor supporting this industry. What is usually, uh, we can see it because they are always behind the scene. What does it mean for you and why, why did you come to support? I'm incredibly honored to be here. I think the editors make the shows and the the movies that we are all on and they really kind of craft performance and, and set tone and pace and everything. So the editor I feel is if not a, a third of what goes into everything. It's it's the pre-production, it's the actual production, it's the post and this is so incredibly important. There's so many amazing and talented people here. I'm just, I'm here to honor them especially. Do you have some uh, a special connection with the editors? So usually when you are set, you not meet them, but maybe you have friendships or something. I do. Both David and Lillian uh, have edited our show, Chicago Med, that I was on for eight seasons, and they've been extremely gracious in allowing me to, to watch them, to watch them work. And I also had just directed an episode this past season, and Lillian was the one that edited it. So it's been a, an amazing collaboration and wonderful friendship. What's going on with your career? We know you are in this big show, but uh, anything else What's coming up? Uh, I have a show coming out on Amazon called Expats with uh, Lulu Wong directing and show running opposite Nicole Kidman. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. So we're rolling. 
Gina, it's so nice to meet you again today. And, um, you know, we just met some days ago and we talked about your movie, what is basically a, a milestone in, uh, I think, I believe. Uh, but uh, tonight we are here on the Editor's Award, so this is a big celebration of them. So please share some uh, memories about that. How is it to work with your editor and who, is, who was the editor of the movie? Yeah, my editor is Terlyn Shropshire, who's next to us right there, and she's nominated tonight, which is beautiful. So I see this honor for myself as an honor for her as well. Our relationship is, it is the most important relationship in making a film, and we have incredible trust. I just, this film would not be what it is without her work. So how the director and the editor work together? How can we imagine this behind the scene, you know? Um, yeah, Terry's my first audience, so she sees that footage first. She lets me know if it's good or not. And that's the thing I talked about with trust. When she tells me the footage is good, the performances are good, I can believe that and just keep my head down and, and keep working. So we have that, and then it's just no ego in the room. We Everything is about the film. So we argue, but in the best way, because it's about the film and what's best for the film. Have you ever had a, like a heated argument or something about that? Oh, I went this all right. Oh. All the time. If, if you're walking by a room you, and you didn't know, you would think that something was wrong. But it's just the passion we have for what we do and the passion to get it right and the passion to just make the best film possible. So those arguments are great because we're pushing each other to be better. Are you working with the same team? So on, the, on your next movie, probably, you, do you want to work with her again? Oh, she's done every one of my films, every one of my pilots. There's no one else I want to work with ever in life, <laughs> ever. Well, thank you so much for stopping. Thank, thank you very much. So I'm Virak from Bionic Buzz, and it's really nice to meet you tonight, and uh, congratulations first. And I just had some words with Gina, and she told about uh, the work, what you're doing together, and she worked with you all the time. So how can you uh, describe this uh, relationship, with this connection with her? Well, it's truly a collaborative um, space that we, that we work in. I feel very grateful as an artist that she trusts me with her vision and the storytelling, the types of stories that she wants to tell. Um, because it's always about empowerment and, and, and seeing kind of the, both the vulnerability and the strength as women. And as someone who loves to watch those types of stories, it even means more to me that I can be a part of them. And we've been doing this for now over 24 years. And I never take it for granted. I'm always happy when she calls and says, I have our next film. Uh, so it's truly an honor tonight to both be here for The Woman King, but also be here as my fellow uh, editors are honoring her because she truly is an amazing collaborator and she's the kind of director every editor would dream to have this partnership with. So uh, your last result of your uh, beautiful collaboration is The Woman King. Uh, can you just tell us some, like, you know, uh, behind the scene information. What was the biggest challenge to, to work on this movie as an editor? I think in many ways is, is to make sure that you're really facilitating and telling the story that the director wants to tell. I mean, The Woman King is so all-encompassing because it's a historical epic but has lots of action. And you always want to make sure that you're giving your audience the balance character-driven storytelling, which is something that Gina is very much striving to do in her work. And I think that that's in many ways can be the biggest challenge, is, is, is to tell a story that's never been told before and try to kind of think outside of the box and not necessarily put it into a particular genre, but just recognize it as this beautiful story of, of these amazing women. Um, I think that was, in many ways, the biggest challenge. And of course, being on the location and, and during a pandemic and all the challenges that everybody else had to, as well. Well, thank you so much and congratulations for your nomination. Thank, thank you so you. much. I appreciate it. Me too. Nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus, and uh, you are from Ted Lasso, and it's so amazing to see together one of the actors of the Ted Lasso and uh, the editor. This is your evening tonight. So first of all, please share why you are such a great friend to support tonight. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. I'm, I'm so happy Melissa and myself, we're going to be on stage presenting, and it's a... Uh, it's a great opportunity also to connect with amazing people that are doing great things in other shows and 
And I think the post-production aspect and the editors and all these people behind camera that we don't see, it's, I'm, I'm so happy that this kind of event exists because they need to be honored and sometimes it's all about the people on camera, but I think it's, it's very important to reward the people that are behind the camera and that stay there for many months after we do the things and, and yeah, I'm grateful to be here today. So there are no shows and no, no films without editors. So please uh, tell me, what was the biggest challenge uh, to, you know, to edit a comedy? Um, is the how much they give us. Like there's just a, there's almost an overwhelming amount of good stuff, right? Like, and I feel the pressure to like, just highlight the amazing work that they're doing and, and pick their best stuff and I mean because it's all gold and so I really feel like an honor and a duty to the work that they're doing in front of the camera to like to, to just put it out to, for the world to see and like fall in love with these people like I fall in love with them and I it's so funny because you know we don't see each other very often but I feel like I know him so well yeah, like right? you know I like always... I, I stare at his face for hours and hours and hours and it's like falling in love with him a little bit you know and every all the characters on the show so uh, yeah it's basically been like getting my love across to the world of like what they're doing because like looking at their dailies all these actors like they won the SAG award for the and it, for the ensemble, and it's because they're amazing. Like, they're all amazing. I, like, I can tell you, there's not, you know, I'm I'm overwhelmed with the amount of footage that I can use. You know. So what can you what can you learn from each other? It's a good opportunity tonight to talk about the you know the industry. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. As I said, uh, I think as I, I've learned so much as an actor with the editing process. Um, sometimes there are some technical aspects about all the acting or, and, and I, I, I've learned so much and, and yeah it's good to see what ends up getting in the in the show so many different takes and um, yeah <laughs> thank you so much and congratulations for your nomination so please tell me a little bit more because this is such a a part of the industry what is really invisible so what what is your daily job what are you doing um, our job is basically taking all of the footage that was shot you know the day before or sometime before putting it all together and trying to match what was in the script and the intentions of the script um, just to tell that finished story so if there's music there's sound there's um, pacing that's our job to kind of try to um, translate I guess what the intention was yeah, I, I don't have much to add. It's it's a really tough job to describe to people. It, you almost have to sit down and watch it happen. But you know, we're we're essentially uh, additional storytellers um, who who take this vision that the director and the writers and the producers came up with, and we try to we we get the privilege of shaping it into what the audience is going to see and experience and feel and and craft an emotional experience. And uh, you know, I think we all love doing it. What is the biggest challenge of your job? I mean, you are sitting probably in a in a uh, in a dark room and uh, you have to stare at the screen all the time. So, what is the biggest challenge? Um, for me, I feel like sometimes the footage doesn't match what you expected it to be or what was planned. So you kind of have to sit and fix this puzzle that you didn't expect to be a puzzle. Um, but it's also one of the most fun things I feel like about our job is like trying to create something that maybe wasn't supposed to be there but somehow comes together and tells the same story. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I always say, um, I think when people talk about movie magic, I think that in the edit room, that's where we make a lot of the movie magic. And th there's so many challenges that come with that, like Stephanie said, it can be, you know, footage that, you know, isn't quite right or a story isn't quite working. But, uh, you know, I think that's part of our job is, is making it work. I nominated tonight. Yes, we are for a Black Lady Sketch Show. That's right. <laughs> so, what what does it mean for you to get this nomination? Um, it's just an honor, honestly. It's such a um, it's a show that's so special to all of us. I think so. It just means a lot. It's also because we're all close friends. Yeah. So it's just like such a nice experience to share this with with people that you've kind of been in the trenches with, and now you're, you know, just Absolutely. celebrating this show. Congratulations and thank you for stopping by. Thank, thank you, so, thank you much. so much. Please share what brought you here tonight. What brought me here? Um, just showing recognition to the people who really make the magic happen behind the camera. 
and being excited to display their work and they get to show what they've done and like an appreciation for their craft and I think that's important. You're an actress. Please share something about your projects, what you're currently working on. Um, so I have season two of Blind Spotting coming out on April 14th. It's on Stars, And then I will be filming another series in, in Jersey, but I just can't say which series. But y'all are going to see it, and it's going to eat. Y'all are going to like it. Could you highlight some, uh, some filming memory about the Blind Spotting? So this season we have a western episode and we got to ride horses and a long time ago I was in a Netflix series called Free Rain and it's about horses so I know how to ride and luckily everything happens the way it should because I had no idea that my job from years ago would prepare me for the job that I currently have now and I got to ride horses again and get to have another horse adventure that y'all get to see. And thank you so much and please share your social media with us. Uh, Jalen Barron on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and everything. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You are glowing today. So, and you're going to be the, one of the hosts tonight. So, please share. How did you prepare for this role? Uh, well, it's easy to write a speech for this show because I love editors. I'm so grateful to them. And I have so much editor material that I can't do anywhere but here. So, I'm very excited. So what is your connection with the editors? Do you have like friends or you see them on set? I mean, uh, during the work? Um, the interesting thing about being an actor is that you normally don't see the editors. And so sometimes what I like to do is I'll make little faces to camera when they're doing the slate or I'll whisper little things in my microphone that's just for them later <laughs> because I know they'll be the only ones who see those little moments before and after action. Let's talk about you a little bit. What is the current project? What are you working on right now? Uh, right now I'm in the writer's room for this Apple TV Plus show, Shrinking. Um, and actually our post supervisor on Shrinking was the one who asked me if I wanted to do this. And I love Kip and I'll show up anywhere he asked me to go. So what is the next project after the Shrinking? Uh, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for stopping by and please share your social media with us. Uh, thanks. On Instagram, I'm, oh, great question. I am AshNB1 on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you. And you are actually uh, nominated today, yes. so please share something about that. Yes, nominated for Only Murders in the Building, uh, season two. Um, have absolutely loved working on the show. It's been such a delightful experience from all the producers and the showrunner. Working with this iconic cast with Steve Martin and Martin Short and Selena Gomez, we're so thankful to tell the stories that you know they're telling. It's just been such a delightful experience, so much fun. So usually the editors are sitting in a dark room. Yes. Did you have a chance? So you already mentioned that uh, you met with this amazing cast. Did you have a chance to, to meet them and, and talk to them about the show? Or, so how can, we, how can we imagine this? Right. So um, I did actually go to New York a few weeks ago and visited set. So I got to see them all working in real life, which was very exciting, and see the set in person, you know, because we're looking at it through our computer screens. And so seeing that in person was so amazing and watching these iconic actors work. You know, Meryl Streep has joined season three. So um, very, very cool to see them in person. But, you know, not, not too much interaction but watching them work in real life was an unforgettable experience for sure. So this is actually, this is the process usually that uh, you have to go for a set visit and then you have an idea about what's going on there right. when they are shooting and then you're doing that. At yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say all the time. I, I was lucky to get to go and visit set. You know, not, not all editors get to go and visit set. So it was kind of a one-off experience, but um, very grateful to have gone and seen it. But yeah, usually we're just in our, and, and you know, post COVID, we're just at home remotely working, which is great. You know, I love working from the comfort of my home. Um, um, so yeah, you know, uh, we're just very comfortable at home and getting to, we're, all, we're on Zoom calls with everyone. We get to be on Zoom calls with the table reads and see them read the scripts and get information. And yeah, it's really, it's amazing. Please tell me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the third season of the um, only, uh, only Murders in the Building, right? Right. So did you work on the show from the beginning yeah. or are you just jumping? So um, we, I worked on season two, which is what we're nominated for tonight, and we're currently doing season three. So season three is not out yet. We're in, we're in the process, still uh, editing, but uh, we're nominated here tonight for a, a season two. Well, congratulations, and I think that you don't have time for another project, but maybe you have, so if you have something, share with us. Right, no, um, not currently. Currently still just doing season three. Um, there will be some time in between, but, uh, you know, that's, that's uh, to, to be found out later, so we'll see.
<laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. You. And maybe you can share your social media with us? Sure. Uh, it's just Peyton Koch, P-A-Y-T-O-N-K-O-C-H. That's it. Just my name, Peyton Koch. Thank you. Thank you. So what director and uh, editor works together? Please share something about the behind the scene work. Well, in our case, um, our director, Sarah Dosa, is very special and dear to us. She's a, she's a very dear friend, but then she's also a very close collaborator of ours. Um, something that happened behind the scenes for us um, in the course of our edit is that we moved in with her um, into her house. I moved into her spare bedroom. And I, yeah, <laughs> I was in this shed at the back that has electricity. <laughs> And uh, we were working around the clock all hours and taking uh, snack breaks together and, yeah. and just, um, yeah, it was deeply, deeply collaborative edit yeah. with Sarah and also um, our producer Shane also uh, was a co-writer on the film, so um, that's the dominant note is one of collaboration. <laughs> So what do you remember of the whole process, so from the beginning till the end, what was the, you know, it's everything has a dynamic, what was the dynamic of this project? Oh. <laughs> the dynamic between us or in thematically the process? Um, so it was like a hard work in the beginning and then you were like, oh, okay, this is happening now. So did you have like that moment or it was like smooth in the whole way? So this is what I'm... Oh, is an edit ever easy? I don't know. You know, I, I think our in our case, um, Fire of Love is such a tightly constructed film uh, from an editing standpoint. And so, you know, it's, it's really um, interwoven in lockstep with the writing process as well. And so, you know, it was a really challenging process, but it was actually a really um, great creative reward I, for, for us, you know, in, in the process. So I think we had to be very um, close in the, you know, together and work very closely together because, you know, we yeah. wanted the film to feel like it was coming from, you know, one mind. Yeah, and I would say it was, along those lines, it was a very additive edit. Our first edit was actually quite short. Um, so rather than start big and reduce, um, it was special that way, where we're, we're, we're building it plank by plank mm -hmm. um, and, and putting our heads together frequently to figure out what we do next and what we do next and what kind of... Um, Everything right down to the wording of the word choices and the narration. Yes. Uh, down to the frame. Down to the frame, yeah. I also want to say, too, that my experience working with Jocelyn, this is our first time meeting each other and working right, together. And um, anytime I would see her work, it was so inspiring. And it made me want to, like, also, like, you know, think of more creative ways of, of you know, working and um, I'm getting emotional because it, it really it was so inspiring to to work with Jocelyn um, as an editor and it's like one of the best collaborations I've ever had. I would say the same thing and uh, I, I just love collaborative editing when it's with yeah. wonderful people like Aaron and um, and I think it's underrated I think yeah. um, working t with people actually I mean it, it moves faster in a sense because when you get stuck you have someone to help you get unstuck and to yeah to inspire you and, and you kind of develop a language together yeah um, not just visual but a sonic language um, you develop the grammar of the film together so to speak yeah well congratulations and I wish you so many nice future pro project together thank you thank you, you so thank much you. So uh, tonight we are here in a very important award. Uh, this is the part of the industry that is usually um, we, we not see them uh, because they are behind the scenes. So what is your connection with the, with the community of the editors? I mean, I started editing maybe 12 years ago and just kind of slowly working my way to the chair. I started as an assistant. Uh, worked on features for a while, even short form commercials in television and film. And so I kind of got a sample of the post world in every way <laughs> um, before I decided to work in television. And and I think my second or third show was a Black Lady Sketch Show, which we're nominated for, nominated for tonight. Super is it different? You mentioned that you already worked on, on features and shorts and adverts. So is it different to work on a TV show? Absolutely. I mean, you know, you want to just tell a good story, both. But I, I think just kind of the turnaround 
I think the turnaround um, for television and film are different and it kind of changes the way you work and how much you invest into the story. So, I mean, I'm prone to future work, but I just will work on anything as long as it's a good story. What is the next project? Probably it's going on, so uh, the editor is always busy with the project what is working on or she's working on. So uh, you already had some plans, you have some future plans, what you want to do? Well, <laughs> looks like it might be doomsday before I find out what happens next, but uh, <laughs> I'm actually just reading a few scripts to see what feature I can jump on next. I finished one recently, went to Sundance, and um, it was a horror. It seemed to be a big hit, so hopefully that'll give me some steam for the next big project. Looking forward to it. And you are nom nominated tonight, so congratulations. Please share something about this nomination. What is your feelings about it? Oh my God, well, it's my first Eddie's nomination, hopefully not my last, but I'm absolutely over the moon. I mean, I'm nominated with some of my best friends on a show that I love, that before um, I was on, I would watch, you know, repeatedly. And so it's, it's a little bit surreal. I am, I'm still trying to pinch myself to see if I'm here in front of this camera talking to you. Um, yeah, I'm over the moon. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and congratulations again. Thank you.